Hello friends, this is Moment of Change and I am AOB Olagunju. Today, I will be sharing with you on 5 reasons why you need to crush your entitlement mentality. 5 reasons why you must destroy your entitlement mentality. First, what is an entitlement mentality? In my own way, I define entitlement mentality as that mindset that gives you an impression that people are indebted to you with or without any basis. That false impression that people are continually indebted to you with or without any reason. If you are always thinking that people owe you, you have an entitlement mentality. If you are always thinking that you deserve something or more from people more than you are willing to give to them, you have an entitlement mentality. Maybe as a child, you think your parents are absolutely responsible for your life. You have an entitlement mentality. You think you have an uncle or a sister somewhere who is well to do and therefore you deserve to be hosted under their roof to be fed and be sponsored without you doing something reasonable with your life. That's an entitlement mentality. Or you think your spouse should be more responsible to you and for you than you are willing to do for them. You have an entitlement mentality. Or probably you are thinking the government should take responsibility for your life. That's an entitlement mentality. But an entitlement mentality does not help and it can't take you anywhere. It kills. Entitlement mentality is a destroyer. It destroys destinies. It kills dreams. And I must tell you the truth, although many would not like this, no one owes you anything. I repeat that again. No one owes you anything. Rather, you owe everyone everything. And I'm going to explain that to you. First, you owe God who has given you the life and the privilege to be on the heart today. If you think God owes you, then let him take away your life. Then you will know the difference between what you have and what you are asking for. So because you have life, you owe God everything. Because life is everything that you need to become whatever you desire to be. And that's why the writer said, a living dog is better than a dead lion. So regardless of what you have today or who you have today, as long as you have life, you hold God because you can become anything great tomorrow. Also, you hold the society, your gift, your talent, your potential that has been deposited inside of you. They are not given to you for yourself alone. They are not deposited inside you to get rotten. They are given to you to benefit mankind. Remember, God said He blesses us so that we can bless others. So you owe your society your gifts. You owe your society your potentials. The world needs what you have to become a better place. People are crying. People are dying to become something to achieve something in life if only you can release your potential and also you owe your family and loved ones your affection even though you came into this world alone you are not designed to live in this world alone you came through a parent and you are planted into a family and also the family could be an extended family your friends 
and some other people. You owe them your affection. So, like I always do, you think of what to do to the society. You think of what to do to your loved ones. Each morning when I wake up, I think of what to do to appreciate God for this inestimable life He has given to me. Life cannot be bought with any price. I wake up every morning thinking of what to do to benefit mankind, to bless the society. I don't think of what the society will give to me. I think of what to do to bless and to benefit my families and my loved ones, everyone that God has destined to come my way whose path has crossed mine. Because the truth of the matter is, what makes you is not what you get, but what you give to others. And that takes me straight to the five points I'm going to give to you in this episode of Moment of Change. The first point or the first reason why you need to crush your entitlement mentality is because there is no blessing in it. Yes, you heard me right. There is no blessing in it. A lot of people erroneously think that they get blessed by what they get. No. Even though God blesses us by giving us sort of things, both spiritual and physical, but that is not the foundation. We don't get blessed by what we get. We get blessed by what we give. And that is why it is written that give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. So the the, the goodness and the measure of what you get is determined by the measure and the goodness of what you give. So it is first given before being blessed. So there is no blessing in operating an entitlement mentality. So you have to crush it. Even God himself will stop blessing you once you are operating with an entitlement mentality. You think everything in life is your right. No, life is a privilege. Life is not a right. Number two, there is no fulfillment in it. Entitlement mentality does not bring fulfillment to any man. And you know why? Because you have built your life to depend on others. I mean, you have designed your destiny to depend on what you get from others. So, you you, you operate at a standstill when you don't get what you desire to get from others. For instance, you're thinking until you get some sort of funds from the government or kind of support from family, friends and loved ones. You you can't start a business. You know, you, you can't fail your passion. It then means that if you don't get the support or funds from these sources, your life remains at a standstill. So at the long run, you fail to experience fulfillment in life because your life is dependent on others. Number three reason why you should crush your entitlement mentality. There is no happiness in it. Yes. You see, I've discovered that one of the greatest ways to experience lasting happiness in life is to develop the passion from within. You take a decision to be happy and you back it up with action. Your happiness does not depend on others but if you operate an entitlement mentality instead of your happiness coming from within you now you depend on your environment so what happens part time within your environment determines whether you are happy or not when you get things from others you become happy and when things stop coming you lose your happiness but that's not a good one for anyone so, there is no happiness in an operating entitlement mentality. Number four, you suffer depression. 
what happens at the long run when people lose their happiness it they enter a state of depression they are always thinking life is unfair to them god has not been good to them families don't care about them as a matter of fact they conclude by saying i am alone in this world so what is life worth to me what am i doing here alone they enter a state of depression and begin to think all manner of thoughts so you see why it's not good to work with entitlement mentality it doesn't help and the fifth reason which is the ultimate end result of entitlement mentality is death yes and when i said death i don't mean just the physical death alone i mean all kinds of possible death that a man could possibly experience in life some by the virtue of their entitlement mentality are dead spiritually we have people in the church who think oh the pastor doesn't care about me oh the brethren don't check on members oh this or that i'm alone in the church and they stop going to church and before you know it they started dying spiritually and today they are nowhere to be found in the spirit realm so one of such death is spiritual death yes one can also die a mental death because you can't think anything positive with your life all your thoughts all your imaginations are built on what you need and have to get from others when they come or when they don't come so your brain has been suspended you can't operate independently you can't think productively because you're living a beggarly life you don't have to think to work for anything you're only waiting to get from others so you die in mental death you can also die an emotional death remember the other time i talked about happiness and depression there's no happiness in it and you suffer depression in it so emotionally you lose your balance and also many have died physical death due to their entitlement mentality by the time you get to the point where you think you are alone in this world that life is not worth living nobody is helping you nobody is looking at your side nobody is saying hi or hello to you nobody is giving you anything then what else nothing than to just give up life whether by yourself or other means just take off your life that is why you need to do do away with entitlement mentality no one ever benefits from entitlement mentality yes if it seems like you're getting something right now for instance you're still under your parents i tell you at the long run you find out that you have lost more than you thought you have gained because god is not mocked whatsoever a man so that he shall also reap so you are absolutely responsible for the outcome of your life i know you may be thinking how yes even god has given to man the gift of choice he's not going to force anything on you he has placed before you life and death choose the one you want he has placed before you blessings and curses he has placed before you success and failure it's your choice it's your life all god is going to do is to empower you to accomplish whatever you have chosen to do so i want you to start from today wake up every morning and just tell yourself 
boy, guy. No one owes you anything. You owe everyone everything. And I'm going to stand up, do something with my life, glorify the name of God, be a blessing to others out there, and be a blessing to my family. I'm not going to wait for someone to bring something to me. Rather, I'm going to walk and take something to others. I am here to be a blessing and not a burden. I am here to be a giver and not a beggar. I am here to be an addition and not a minus. So I'm not waiting for life to happen to me. Rather, I will rise up and happen to life. I believe this podcast has blessed you. I'd like you to share with others, family, friends, and loved ones. Let them be partaker of the inspiration of this podcast. And I see your life continually becoming a blessing to others. Thank you for listening. Once again, it is moment of change with AOP or Lagoju. And until the next time when I shall be coming your way again, keep on changing levels. Bye for now. Top of the day to you, dear listeners. You're welcome to Moment of Change with AOB or Lagunju. In this episode, I'll be sharing with you on what I've captioned, thoughts have values. Thoughts are real and have compatible values. Those values are responsible for the overall results we achieve in life, whether good or bad, success or failure. Many do not know this, so they have many self-limiting beliefs in their heart and still wonder why they are not successful in life. Any life you do not want, it is from your heart you fight it. But whatever you have in your heart will inevitably abide in your life. That is why it is important you mind what you think about. Thoughts have human values. Thoughts are people who has a thinker in his heart. So is he. So, you are your thoughts. Our life values are mostly defined by our thought values. And our overall life value is determined by our dominating thought value. Our life cannot be separated from our thought values. Our life follows in the path of our thoughts. Thoughts have nature and have flesh. The scripture says, And the word became flesh. But words are only expressed thoughts. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So, we can also say that it is thoughts that become words which eventually turn into flesh. Thoughts have material values. Thoughts are things. Our thoughts have the ability to magnetize everything we desire into our domain. Thoughts are places. Our thoughts have the capacity to create the environment we consistently imagine or lead us to the places we have always traveled in our heart. Now, if your thoughts are to be converted into real values, what kinds of people are going to be around you? What kind of career are you going to build? What is your bank account going to live? What kind of house are you going to be living in? What marriage and home are you going to have? And what results are you going to achieve in life? You see, we humans have been programmed with inbuilt, magnetic, but with a greater force that eliminates the distance between us and our object, its size inconsequential. And when our heart is well filled with the same thoughts and we become overwhelmed with the mental saturation, then we begin to experience the same circumstances 
that resonate with our very dominating thoughts. Friend, you will never achieve a balanced life where your results are in consonance with the man you are created to be until you begin to reconcile your prevailing thoughts with the future you desire and consistently match it with the requisite action. When a man is not in harmony with himself, where he matches his thoughts with his expected results, he will struggle to achieve success all the days of his life. But I pray for you today that your mind will be supernaturally renewed so that you can begin to experience the transformation that you desire. Once again, this is Moment of Change with AOB on Lagunju. And until I come your way again, keep changing levels. And bye for now.